Good morning again, everyone. Well, she had it all. She was a business exec and motivational speaker, happily married, fit, active, beautiful. Everything was going her way. And then the unthinkable happened. Linda Krill, author, author of Blind Curves, joins me in studio now. Good morning to you, Linda. What a story. Yes. Let's talk first of all and tell our viewers what happened that changed everything for you. Well, life was going well and you expected to continue. And suddenly my husband was diagnosed with a terminal cancer from asbestos exposure. Wow. And he was told that there's no cure. And so 11 months later, I became a widow. And I had never it's not really the way planned. It was supposed to go. No, no, it's not. And the unknown, unwanted, unexpected happens in all of our lives. And when it does, we retreat. And I retreated for 18 months. And then suddenly you came out in a pretty big way. And you decided, of all things, to hop on a motorcycle? Well, I didn't decide. I made an <laughs> idle threat. I said, of all this smart thing that I was doing, I was overachieving at sleeping and exercising, eating well, and doing all the things I was supposed to be doing. And I was still miserable. So I said, if this doesn't work, I might as well learn to ride a motorcycle. The day after you said that, something else happened. I met a friend, and he said, he was a business exec. And, he, and I told him, and he said, Linda, don't you know I organize motorcycle trips? And in a month, we're flying to Vancouver, Canada. We're going to do the coast of Washington, Oregon, Northern California, through the Redwoods, the wine country. Now, that sounds like it's for a very experienced rider. You, had you been on a bike before? Never. So you'd never been on a bike before. You are coming from a very vulnerable place in your life, and suddenly you're even entertaining that idea? Well, I'm a management change consultant, and I would okay. say to my clients, Einstein said doing more of the same and expecting different results is insanity. That's I said, right. so if you're going to tell your clients to do this, when are you going to do this? So you did it, and it has changed your life. That was how many years ago now? That was six years ago. Six years ago. What has happened to you since then? Well, I did things like learn to write a book. I was never, ever, that would probably be the second thing I would never do. You never thought you'd be an author? Never. But I spent then five years learning how to be an author, and I said I wrote five books. This is the first book I'm ready to share with everybody else. What do you think your husband would think of, of the way your life has, has turned? Uh, he would be amazed because although I was a bicycler, I was a greenie, I was a tree hugger. I wasn't a motorcyclist, but <laughs> once you've learned to be on the open road and when you're wearing leather and next to a full-size Harley, everybody comes to you. And I realized how many people I had unknowingly excluded from my life. Because you were judging a book by a cover wrongly? Right, and they were judging me. If I were standing in Starbucks in a business suit, someone heavily tattooed would probably not turn around and talk to me. But wearing leathers, yes. So I think the exclusion goes two ways. But when you're in leathers on a trip, nobody cares what you do. I'm, I'm picturing you on a motorcycle in leather right now. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's fantastic that you've decided to do this. And it's great that you're sharing your story because it sounds like we can all benefit from some of the lessons that you've learned. I definitely say that when we go into something we are afraid of, and a lot of fear is there for every motorcycle Absolutely, rider. Absolutely, yeah. And you find that you make it to the other side of that four-mile bridge and you didn't give up. And of course, there's no way to give up in the middle of a bridge. Nope, gotta keep going. The joy you feel, like, oh my gosh, I can do it. Now, I'm not telling everybody else to ride motorcycles, but we all have those things we're afraid to do. And once we find that we can do them, the reward is much higher than when we do something we know we can do. So the motorcycle can be figurative. We Very all have much. our own motorcycle that we can hop on and learn right. to ride. And I say there's a bit of motorcyclist in all of us. Well, your story is so inspiring. And, uh, you know, you've got to read the book. It, it's just a fantastic story. Linda Krill, thanks so much for writing. It's called Blind Curves. Thank you. Best of luck. Can't wait to hear what you do next. Will you come back in and tell us about it? Oh, definitely. Okay, thank you.